This time, we start our journey through the Panama Canal. Atlas gets pushed to her limits. We have to get there by 11, which means we've got to do an average of 6.7 knots, which is not going to happen. And the doors open to the Pacific Ocean. So today is the day. I am feeling really ill. I got a fever and we're going through the canal. And Adam has just made a cockpit cover, which is necessary for the advisor. Yeah. Cockpit cover. <laughs> Good <Goodness. laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Wow, it's so <laughs> amazingly good. So the advisor can just stand like here. <laughs> Oh god. We're just getting things ready in here. Yeah. Cleaning. Yep. Yeah, uh, filled with water. We've made cockpit cover. Cockpit cover. There's no above way of me. the cockpit on this boat. No. Yeah, so we're just about to go now. Just waiting for Eddie, the dock master, to come and then we are off. We've got all our line handlers on board. They've done it plenty of times, so which is good. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous as well. Delta Bay Marina. I jumped out of a tiny boat. So we got our advisor no on board. No charge, it's free. Rick says no charge. This is our advisor, Rick. He's going to be guiding us through the canal. Whew, we're nervous. A little bit nervous, aren't we? A little bit nervous about this. Uh, okay. Let me explain what we're going to do. Okay, okay. Come on, Tine. What do you Okay. You know? Anchor up, anchor up. Okay. Anchor up, let's go. Okay, the engine goes. Panama Canal is an artificial 82 kilometer waterway in Panama that connects the Atlantic Ocean with the Pacific Ocean and divides North and South America. The canal is 109 years old and took 10 years to complete and was finished on August 15th, 1914 at the cost of 3.5 billion in today's money. Over five and a half thousand people were thought to have died due to various tropical diseases building the canal. However, historians think the toll may have been much higher. Around 14,000 ships used the canal each year with profits totaling 2.6 billion dollars. The age-old age old question, Luke. I want a ham and cheese sandwich. Are we going to fit under, under the bridge? No. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Oh god, here we go. Might scrape on the bottom of there. <laughs> it's been pretty easy so far. Well, we've only just moved. I'm just here. really glad that we're rafting up against this guy and he's going to pull us through all the first three locks. Yeah, it's good at that, isn't it? And then the last two, we've got really experienced handliners with us. We paid $100 each, but they're really experienced. One guy has been doing it since he was 17. Yeah, how good is that? Moving up to this boat now, we're gonna pull along the side of this boat and they're gonna chuck me a stern line and I'm gonna chuck while it on the cleats moving. while we're still moving forward. Uh, and then these guys are gonna do midship and bow. So this is gonna be interesting. Okay. 
okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, a bit closer, edge, edge a little closer, look. You got this. So come alongside him, nice and slow. Very neutral. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool, cool. It's easier to do it when we're both moving forward yeah, rather than stopping and then the wind taking the stern. Okay, so we're all tied up now. Just hit them on that leg. Well, with these professionals, it was very easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. Okay, it's good job we got good professionals on board who know what they're doing here. Okay, well, we will do this. Give me more starboard side. Neutral. Neutral. Neutral, we're neutral, yeah. You you will move in everybody like a unit. Yeah. You are in charge, please, of everyone. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just heading now into the lock, first lock. And we're just discussing now that it's gonna get too dark to film. How many, how many lots you are making right now? Close. No. Please. So sorry about that. Once it gets too dark, we'll try and film but You'll definitely see the ghost going <coughs> down the locks tomorrow. To the other side. Yeah. Like yeah. it. Yeah. Quite the chat. I don't. We'll, try we'll give it a go anyway. See what happens. Okay. I think they're about ready to throw the lines. Yeah. They're throwing the lines. Okay, so they're going to throw lines. Okay, I'll, get, I'll stay out your way. I'm going to stay out there, line handlers way, I think. They're going to throw lines over here and then going to put some lines in there, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. One to the bow there and one to our stern. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. Look at these locks. Wow. Gates are closing on the Atlantic Ocean.
How cool is that? Hang it with the bread so you get a picture. Wow. Goodbye, Atlantic Ocean. about our cleats taking quite a bit of strain start the flood now Atlantic behind, but very excited to get into the Pacific Ocean. I'm pleased to leave the Atlantic behind. I've had enough of it. Atlantic, we've done it. I want to get onto the Pacific. I want new sea. It's going to be exactly the same. It's just water, but it's a new ocean, isn't it? To explore. Yeah. I think of the adventures we're going to have in the Pacific Ocean. It's going to be incredible. The places we're going to go. It's just a, that's a gateway. This is a gateway to another world. This is the gateway to the rest of the world. Yeah, there's nothing... Another world. The rest of the world. There's nothing stopping us now from sailing all the way around the rest of the world and coming back to the UK, you know, not, you know what I mean, sailing all the way around. Yeah, there's nothing stopping us. Nothing. Now. After this. We've been waiting four weeks to get through this canal. And our day has finally arrived. Amazing. Okay, so the ship has moved all the way forward now into the next lock and we're all moving as a pack forward into that lock while these guys are just walking us up with the lines. Very easy, really. Pretty into it. So the locks and we're just going into the lake there and there's a buoy we're going to tie up to for overnight and then we're going to start again at seven o'clock in the morning and motor to the last two locks into the pacific ocean how amazing is that uh, you probably can just about see that that is the vessel so alongside this boy here, that boy there, and our advisor for the day is going back and we'll get a different one tomorrow. We start at 7 a.m. in the morning. Another scary moment. Oh, it's big, isn't it? everybody 76 a.m. 
Let's just set the alarm, woke up. And this is where we are. Tied onto this giant uh, boy. Ship boy. Coming here last night from the dark. Middle of a lake, surrounded by forest, and uh, it's been raining a lot, <laughs> raining all blooming night. Uh, just waiting for the advisor's gonna be coming on board, they say about 7 a.m. We shall see. And we've got uh, pretty much six hour motor through the lake to get to the last two locks. Hopefully we'll get through them and get to the Pacific by about 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'm just going to make this, the crew some tea and coffee. And myself a cup of coffee because I'm very tired. I did have a challenge last night because we're all sleeping downstairs. Like loads of us. Bodies everywhere. <laughs> Things you do. Morning crew. Morning, morning. <laughs> okay, uh, five to seven. Just got our new advisor on board called Hector. And we're off. 27 miles to go to the first lock, and we have to get there by 11. Which means we've got to do an average of 6.7 knots, which is not going to happen. Uh, the advisor says we need to get there. So if we miss this lock, then we'll be spending another day here, which... No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I think he's just trying to, you know, get us going. Trying to speed us up a little bit, but we can only do about five... We're nearly maximum on the engine now, we're only doing 5.3 knots, because we've got so much weight on board and so many people. She just can't, that's, she can't do it. <coughs> Let's go with the flow. Luke's feeling really stressed. Stressed yesterday, stressed today about it. No point in getting stressed, just go with the flow, I think. Rafted alongside this vessel right. yet again, D. Right and on to these locks. Finally made it to the lake, to the last locks. It's got a bit of a delay at the minute, we're waiting for the ship to come behind us. Taking bloody age. We're just waiting. 
and it's absolutely boiling on this side. We know there's a nice cool breeze, it's really hot. Look at the temperature in Cologne, it's like 30, and down here it's like 33, with a feel like in the 40s. And the sun, I just put factor 50 on, and in five minutes my arms went red and burnt. So hot. We have a new neighbour. Been joined by this ship. And it's been towed by electric uh, trains, I guess, or engines on the track. No. Yeah, going down, but we didn't even know, did we? No, slowly going down. I think slowly, it's going down really fast. Really fast. Just like that, we're down. We've got two locks left, I think. Double check. Yeah. There we go. Doors opening. Finally reached the last lock. This is the last one. On the other side is the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> the Pacific Ocean. Yes. This is the gateway to the Pacific Ocean. Gateway to the rest of the world. How amazing is that? Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> the gateway to the rest of the world. Thanks.